Hey everybody, happy Friday. It is the first Friday of 2024. Crazy, can't believe it. I've actually been writing 2024 for a while. I wrote a check to somebody in November and he had to bring it back to me because I wrote 2024. I don't know, I guess I was anticipating it. But happy new year to all of you. I'm excited about our first Facebook Friday. I am a little bit discombobulated right now. I had to rearrange things real quick, right at the end. Okay, there's a weird shadow going on. Where is that coming from, right there? Hmm, looks like I have a black eye. Maybe if I stand over here. I, I you guys, I'm still struggling with the lighting in this, in this place. The lighting was supposed to be so good and I cannot get it right. It's driving me crazy. I talked to my husband about it, in fact, yesterday. I want to change the LEDs and he said that's probably like going to be like a whole canister that has electrician has to take out it's not just a light bulb so I'm like okay well we'll see <laughs> anyhow I hope you guys have had a good um, first couple of days of 2024 I hope you had a good Christmas it is now celebration yay and we have a new catalog um, I call this the spring mini catalog its official name is January to April 2024 it is a good one it's so good and then celebration i'm sure most of you know what celebration is celebration if i had to sum it into one sentence is when you get free stuff for every 50 dollars you spend you get to choose something free from this catalog yay free stuff as my friend belinda used to say or she probably still does say it if it's free it's for me so I'm sure you guys are going to say that. And today our projects are going to feature several things. Well, they're featuring the Jungle Pals, but I'm using some other celebration things as well. So um, we'll get, we'll dive into celebration. But first, I have so many things to tell you that I am going to flip you guys around. And, you know, because this is how we roll, my neighbor's yard guys just pulled up right outside. They've got their mower going and I'm sure that their um, leaf blower will start any minute. The leaf blower sound is like my least favorite sound in the whole world. It drives me crazy. So if you hear it, I apologize. Yes, we are cutting the grass the first week of January here in San Antonio. Our grass is still green. Usually it's turned yellow by now but for whatever reason it's still green here in South Texas crazy okay so let's get started because I, I really have so many things to tell you hello everybody I'm so happy that you're here I hope you guys had a safe and happy holiday it feels like I've been gone a really long time and we haven't done a like traditional Facebook Friday since November because in December we did all the 12 days Okay, let's talk about the All-Star Tutorial Bundle. So every month, me and my other Stampin' Up! demo buddies, we make a tutorial. Each one of us comes up with one tutorial. We all use the same suite of products. And this month, we're using the Lighter Than Air suite from the new mini catalog, one of my favorite things. And so we each come up with a tutorial. We film a video, we type up the measurements and the supply list. The measurements are both in Imperial and in um, metric. And um, we combine them into this awesome PDF. And I give it to, I give it away for free to anybody who spends $50 with me each month, every single month of the year. Um, so you can always get it for free if you shop with me. Um, the second way to get it is to purchase it in my PDF store. The third way to get it, well, Okay, there's another way to get it. If you're on my team, you get it for free. My team gets all my PDFs for free. So I guess that's the third way. But the fourth way is to subscribe. So if you are a demonstrator yourself or you have a demonstrator and you're not going to, you know, order from me, you can actually subscribe and you get this delivered to your inbox every month on the 1st. Um, I am really good about mailing it out on the 1st and... Um, I'm very distracted by the lawnmower. Can you guys hear it? I'm wondering how, how much noise you guys can hear. Um, I don't have a fancy microphone or anything. You know, I really love when, like when you hear people on podcasts, their sound is so good, right? I need to get me one of those microphones. So if you're a microphone expert, please tell me what microphone I should order. I've tried a few here and there and they were not good. 
So if you're a microphone expert, let me, so you guys can hear it, right? They are not, they're not that close. So just wait till the leaf blower starts. Ugh. Anyhow, subscribe. Let me, let me get focused back to where I was. Um, when you subscribe, you get, it's a six month subscription. We do it twice a year. It's only open twice a year. You get all six months for the price of five. It's $15 a month. And so when you subscribe, you can either sign up to just pay for it monthly, or you can pay in one lump sum. Either way, you get the six month for free. Um, so that is only open in January, okay? Um, I know a lot of you love to subscribe because a lot of, uh, of you, gosh, look how cute that is. A lot of you um, are demonstrator slash customers, right? Um, just because you're a demonstrator doesn't mean that you don't, you know, want to make cute stuff and not all demonstrators do what I do. A lot of demonstrators are just doing it for fun, right? Majority of demonstrators are doing it for fun and they want to buy stuff too and they want to get ideas. So if that's you, I, would, I wouldn't expect that you would want to order from me all the time to get this for free, but you could subscribe. And then these ideas, um, projects in here are free for you to use whenever you want, okay? So um, that is that. There is a link. I'm hot now, I'm taking the jacket off. There's a link on today's PDF and at the bottom of my blog, I've sent it out. I sent like five emails out in the last week. It's in those emails. Um, let me know if you have questions. My project this month is a cute little drawer with a pop-up thing. It's very cute. It took me a long time to get it right. <laughs> it's one of those where there was like eight boxes in the trash, but I ended up getting it. It's very cute. It's very cute. This one's a little tighter for some reason. I don't know why my glue is a problem. But look, isn't that cute? Anyhow, that's this month's project of mine. There are 11 others that are great. Um, if you have ordered with me this month, I haven't emailed them out. I email them out about, I try to do once a week. Um, but if you have ordered with me, then I haven't emailed them out yet. If you have subscribed with me, I have sent it to you. Um, so if you've subscribed and you didn't get it, please reach out to me and let me know. I get hundreds of emails every day, you guys, and half of them are from PayPal <laughs> saying, you know, so-and-so paid you, so-and-so did this, so-and-so. It's like three emails for one transaction. So sometimes I miss those emails, those subscription emails. So I'm human. So if you have subscribed and you haven't received it, let me know. If you've ordered and haven't received it, that's because I haven't gotten to you yet, but I will. Okay, the second thing I wanna to talk to you about is our paper shares. So we only have eight packs of paper in this new catalog. Um, I looked back because I thought, wow, usually we have more, right? There's only eight. And um, all of them are 12 by 12, except for the lighter than air paper at six by six. So I decided I wanna shake things up and do things a little bit differently. So I've got two different paper shares here. Yes, 12 by 12. This is for those of you that are like serious about paper like I am. 12 by 12, this is option one. I'm gonna send you one sheet, one full sheet of all the new papers, of all eight packs. Now, asterisk, right? I can't send you 12 by 12 of the lighter than air because it only comes in six by six, okay? That's the only thing that doesn't come 12 by 12. I also did a little uh, shopping research and found these really cool, they're scrapbook paper um, storage pockets. I know some of you probably already store your paper in that, but I bought these to send you your paper in and they're beautiful. So um, not only will your paper um, be 12 by 12, but it'll come in this cool, cool package. If you order the 12 by 12 package, you're also gonna get a sheet of all the celebration papers as well, okay? This is $72 and it's $11 shipping. It's heavy, okay? That's why shipping is so much, but look at all the paper you're getting. It's a lot, okay? Now, for those of you who are like, okay, Erica, that's too much. I don't want that much. The other option is six by 12. I'm not doing six by six this time, um, this paper is so good. I think all of you would probably like six by 12. Um, you will get a sampling of some of the celebration papers too. And you get a little fancy envelope as well, okay? The six by 12 is $36. And I can ship these in a priority envelope for $8. Um, I didn't put a date, a closing date on this. I was thinking January 15th and I just never added it. Um, 
I'm kind of keeping an eye on inventory too. I was a little worried about things selling out, which yay, nothing has sold out yet. Um, so I'll keep it open for as long as I can, firm date of the 15th. So if you wanna register for those, let me know. They will ship, um, they're the last thing that I'll do in January. I've got boop, 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 several things I have to do before I get to these. They will ship no later than February 3rd, okay? Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, let's talk about Club Create. Lighter than air, obviously very popular. I showed you the all-star tutorial PDF. Those are 12 different projects than this month's Club Create. This month's Club Create also features the lighter than air suite. I showed you this a little bit in December. This is, um, these are all my designs. All five are mine. Those 12, only one of them is mine and they're not the same. Sometimes that happens when the same month where I'm doing club and all-star the same suite and it gets confusing, but it's not the same thing. Club Create is my subscription program. It's $45 a month. You get five projects and about $20 in product. Um, you get five projects, a tutorial, a PDF, that includes your shipping. And on the sixth month, you get a $25 product credit where you can order whatever you want. Um, the clothes, the, this is this month's, and there's only two more days to subscribe for this. If you're not already a subscriber and you want to get this kit, Make sure you subscribe by Sunday, okay? It's a firm cutoff on Sunday. Um, there is a link on today's PDF, on today's blog post, and a tab at the top of my blog that says Club Create. Now, I hear my dogs going crazy. You guys, we've had major dog drama today, and I will tell you about it in a little while, but I just wanna make sure that they are all behind the fence where they're supposed to be. Um, anyway, Club Create, this is January. Would you guys like to see February's? I love February's too. I think you're gonna like it too. I hope so. This is probably one of the most popular suites in the new spring catalog. Look, there's a sequence. I just saw that in the video. Um, the Painted Lavender and Perennial Postage. Um, these projects will be February's Club Create and look what I made a hand sanitizer holder, um, little potted, um, I keep wanting to call it freesia, lavender. So this is a Club Create for February. If you don't want the lighter than air Club Create, wait, don't subscribe until Monday. The subscription for this opens on Monday. Now, if you're already a subscriber, you don't have to do anything, all right? You'll just, it'll keep rolling over until you cancel it, so you're good. Um, but really, really beautiful um, products here. The paper is stunning, um, but that, that is what's coming in February, okay? Hi, Lisa. I, I'm seeing you guys come, you know, have you guys ever tried to read and talk at the same time? I am reading your comments and trying to form coherent sentences at the same time. So all of you who've said hello, I'm, I see you. Hello, Happy New Year. Thanks for being here. Okay, one other thing I wanna tell you about before we jump into celebration is my Be My Valentine class. You guys, so popular. I had no idea this was gonna be so popular and I honestly was super nervous that it was gonna sell out in the first day. I got up at 4.30 a.m. and started ordering for all of you that have registered. Luckily, it's in stock and I didn't need to get up early. Oh well, um, better safe than sorry. So this is my Be My, Be My Valentine class. Um, option one comes with the bundle. That is $69. When you get option one, you get the ribbon for free. You get one of these for free, I can't remember. They're the same price, so one of them you're getting for free. Option two is for those of you that already have the bundle, it's $41 plus $8 shipping on top of those. Um, the, for my downline, Sweet Stampede, there, my team, they get the kit for 20 and the PDF is already in my PDF store for $15, okay? Deadline on this is January 19th. They will ship no later than January 16th. There's Belinda. Belinda, I just quoted you at the beginning of the video. If it's free, it's for me. Belinda taught me that, and now I hear them say it on the Today Show. They, they stole it from you, Belinda. If it's free, it's for me. Okay, so we got all that. Now, um, real quick, Paper Pumpkin. December's Paper Pumpkin came, and it's called All the Best. I have a couple extra if you didn't get yours. Gorgeous little stamp set, let me know. 
just send me an email, please. And then we have two new kits. There's so much new stuff, you guys. This kit, these are both $14. They're not stamping kits, okay? No stamping, just project kits. This one's called Rock Legend. It's very cute. I really think both of these would be great for kids. If you have kids, grandkids, nephews, nieces, you wanna have something for them to do at your house, this, these would be perfect, I think. Um, I love this Rock and Roll suite in the catalog. I can't wait to get to it. And then this one is called this if you've been around the stamping up world for a while you recognize these cute little pandas panda friends kit again $14 no stamping just a project kit I think this one would appeal to girls and this one would appeal to boys now of course us being crafters they're both gonna appeal to us but I just for some reason they just both made me think of kids look how cute that envelope is right there I can't wait to play with these these are so cute I need to put, put them together Okay, those are in our kit um, section of the catalog, okay? Um, <laughs> Nancy, we'll see. <laughs> um, those of you who love kits, you know, I'm not a kit person, but if I was, I would be all over these. I, Stampin' Up! really just keeps getting better and better with their kits and their paper pumpkins. Okay, let's talk a little bit, sorry, I turned away from the camera. Let's talk a little bit about celebration. Um, so if you don't have a catalog yet, I linked both of these catalogs on today's blog post so you can go open them. If you need a paper copy, please let me know. I'll be happy to mail them to you. Um, this one goes to the end of April, all right? And it's just all spring stuff. Um, there's some... Easter. There are some things in here that coordinate with things in the celebration catalog. Um, I designed a little class with this yesterday. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I love brighter skies. I'm just, uh, yeah, all of it. I just, yeah, I couldn't really even decide when I had to start planning, like where to start because it, look, this is the lighter than air. It's just so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Um, I designed some projects with this yesterday. These dies are amazing. I'm not gonna, you guys can go through here. I'm sure you already have. There, I'm gonna, I've, I've penciled out all of my Facebook Fridays and my clubs through April, my classes, but honestly, none of it, it's all in pencil because I don't know. I, I, I don't know, I'm gonna jump around. I love it all. I can't, I can't commit to anything because I love, you know, I say, oh, I'm gonna do this. Oh, but wait, I wanna do this. But wait, I wanna do that. So just, just be patient, it's all coming and it's all great. So hopefully you have your calendar. Celebration now, this goes through the end of April. This one only goes through the end of February. Lucky for us, it's a leap year, so we have an extra day in February this year. So this goes all the way to February 29th. Now, in here, I call them level one and level two. I think we used to call them that, maybe they're not called that anymore, but there are things in here that are free with a $50 purchase. All right, this is what we're gonna do next Facebook Friday, the watercolor, watercolor, oh my gosh, watercolor melon. This paper is, well, I was gonna say it's my favorite, but they're all my favorite. I love this paper. Lots of paper, I think there's four paper packs in here. There's ribbon, there's a baby stamp set. Um, softly stippled, I did not think I was gonna like that paper, but I've used it a ton, it's really good. Um, there's some embellishments. Now, I'm gonna give you a little like Erica advice, okay? I have no inside information. This is just me, okay? So don't go and call Stampin' Up! and say Erica said, because it's not. But in my mind, I feel like the embellishments, if anything in this catalog is gonna sell out before the end of the catalog, it's gonna be the embellishments and the ribbon. I don't know why I think that. I could be totally wrong, but that's what I'm stocking up on I want those ribbon and I want that those embellishments. Um, this paper is amazing. We're using some of it today. We're using this stamp set today. So all of those are free with a 50. This paper goes with the stamp set in here. Um, I'm gonna try to stock up with on this so we can use, we can stretch it and use it in March for my club. Um, let's see what else. Okay, so here we're at the Jungle Pals. Now, I keep calling it a bundle, but it's not a bundle, right? It's a stamp set and the dies. The stamp set is free with a $50 purchase, but then this is when we kind of switch over to our level two. Level two means it's free with a $100 purchase. 
So to get both of these, you would need to spend 150 to get both of them for free, okay? Rhonda says, I'm looking forward to using the birdie paper. You know, my mom was over here, my mom's an artist, and she like loved that paper a lot. Um, it's very pretty, it's very, very pretty. Um, okay, so then we've got some other free with a hundred dollar purchase. Um, the, the free with a hundred dollar purchase are products that, that cost a little more, right? So you have to spend a little more to get them. This softly sophisticated and the embossing folder, they're like a little bundle that you can get. Um, detailed dogwood is a larger stamp set. And then the last thing I want to tell you is about the starter kit. So you guys know starter kit is $99. You get $125 of product of your choice for free and free shipping, 12 months of year, a year, 365 days, right? During celebration, they always make it extra, like it's extra good. Last year, we had the little purple mini cut and emboss machine. This year, we have this Stampin' Glass Mat Studio, and it's a little bundle. Um, so you'll get, for $99, you'll get $125 in product of your choice, free shipping, and then this glass mat. Now, the problem here is you guys can immediately see, it's gonna reflect my um, lights. So I probably won't use it a ton in the video. I'm gonna pull it up a couple of times to show you. And I'll, honestly, I'll be honest with you, I was like, what do I, what do I do with this? I don't really know. Well, oh my gosh, there's a bazillion ways to use this. Yes, bazillion. Um, the glass mat itself really just kind of serves as your work surface. And the best thing is that it's wipeable. So I've seen people like writing down measurements, um, writing down, you know, oh, order, I need to order whatever. Um, also, you'll see today it wipes clean. So I'm gonna use it instead of grid paper, I'm gonna use it behind my projects. Um, so then I can just wipe it and not have to throw away grid paper all the time. It also comes with this thing. And this is like, it's a silicone, what do they call it, a silicone mat. It's more like a tray, and I see my mom and my daughter mixing their paints and a little thing that looks like this, and I'm like, look guys, now I have one, I'm fancy too. This is where you can like um, take your ink and squeeze it in, add some water, mix it, mix, mix, all that kind of stuff over here. You can put your um, embossing paste on here, and then you just go in the sink and clean it. Um, the third thing that comes is the chamois, and this seems to be what everybody really, really loves for whatever weirdo reason. It cleans everything off, right? Um, it cleans your stamps, it's thin, it feels good in your hand. So these are the three glass mat studio bundle, I guess. You guys, I can see in my computer that the video is pixelated. It's kind of going in and out. I have no idea why. I'm not in charge of the satellite or the internet. <laughs> but I just know that when it is, when I'm done and it is there recorded, it's always better quality. So just, just so you know. Um, so anyway, there's that. So if this does not appeal to you, but you want to buy the starter kit, there's another option. Instead of the Glass Mat Studio, which by the way, the, they're saying the value on this is 60 bucks. All right, so that's a big value. But if you don't want it, instead of the Glass Mat Studio, you can choose an additional $30 in product of your choice. Anything from the Spring Mini, the annual or online exclusives, or even the clearance rack. Um, so those are the options. January and February during celebration, you'll also get to be part of my team, which means you'll get my PDFs for free, you'll get discounted class kits, you get to be a part of our swaps. Um, by the way, you don't have to be local to be on my team. The majority of my team is not local. We do swaps through the mail. Um, we do creative challenges every month. I mail prizes. I mail team meeting make and takes. We do um, our team meeting via Facebook Live. Um, you, of course, get your discount from Stampin' Up, and uh, you get early access to catalogs. So there's a lot of benefits other than just getting this sweet little glass mat studio and additional free product, okay? All right, if you have questions about that, please feel free to uh, mess email me, please. I, I'm not using Messenger, you guys. It's just too much to keep up with, and I see it like while I'm driving, and then I forget to come back to it, so always email me. Email me your questions, I'd be happy to answer. If you're like, I have no questions, give me the glass mat. Click on the join link at the top of my blog and it'll take you over to where you need to 
you can read all the details and then there's a link there for you to go to Stampin' Up's site where you can fill it all out and buy your starter kit. Okay. Oh gosh, my clock has stopped over here and <laughs> it says um, 40. I thought I had talked for 40 minutes. I've talked for 26 minutes, which is six minutes longer than I usually let myself. So let's get started real quick. Though I want to say, if you haven't gone to my blog yet, pinkbuckaroo.com, go. Here's the PDF for today. It's free. It has the measurements. It has a supply list. It has all the things I just talked about, all the links you can click. Um, the host code for today's projects. If you like today's projects and you would like them as a kit, I send them. I mail them every Wednesday um, to people who order and use the host code. I'd be happy to send them to you. Okay. Um, last but not least how about prizes if you guys remember way back in december the very last day of my 12 days of christmas i just went in and picked a winner karen lang you are winning the light the sky bundle congratulations karen and i have your mailing address because you put it on the um form so yay thanks karen i've got a new prize this week from the new catalog the flower cart bundle do you guys like this bundle it is beautiful there's lots of little dyes in there too okay so all you have to do to win that is share the video either on facebook or youtube and i will pick somebody at random next week okay i hear my dogs barking again can you guys hear the dogs they're pretty far they're barking at the they're barking at the um yard guys next door okay let's get started we are going to start with the tiger. Now, first, tell me, those of you that have already ordered, was Jungle Pals on your order? Jungle Pals, if I had to pick one thing from the catalog, it would be Jungle Pals, for sure. Now, of course, that's not fair because you need the dies, so you have to let me pick two things from the catalog. You really want the dies, they're cute. They're not only do they, whoops, not only do they cut out the animals, but you've got these like foliage pieces, you've got flowers, you've got this big tree here that we're gonna use on the third project. Um, lots of really cool dyes to go with it, okay? All right, so when I started planning for this project, I, I know I love to color it with Stampin' Blends. Like it's my favorite, when I designed my stamp set, that was the thing, I wanted to be able to use my blends. But not everybody is a fan of coloring, right? So I thought, let's do this first one where you don't really even have to color if you don't want to. All right, so I'm using my stamp positioning tool only because I want to stamp him a couple of times. And actually, I'm going to turn it this way. Mm. Yeah, you know what? I want this on the left. I don't like it on the right or on the top. And I don't feel like I have very good, good control. Let me fix it. Um, the reason I'm using a stamp positioning tool is because when you stamp, do I not have ink? It's over here on the other tray. When you stamp on colored cardstock, the ink is a little bit muted. Now make sure your ink pad is juicy. You know, if it's dry, you're really gonna, it's really gonna be muted. But if you have a stamp positioning tool, you can just stamp it a couple of times. Normally, if I was going to stamp on colored cardstock, I would use Stazon, because Stazon's more of like a bold, rich, dark black. But we are going to use Stampin' Blends just a little bit here. And so when you use Stampin' Blends, you gotta use Memento, because Stazon gets all like muddy and gross with your Stampin' Blends. Now, if you don't wanna color, don't. You can leave it like that. But you know me, I gotta take it a step forward, right? I'm gonna take my dark pumpkin pie and I'm gonna add in some shadowing on him. If you've ever taken your Stampin' Blends and colored on colored cardstock, you'll notice it's real dark at first and then it, it dries pretty light. Um, if you try to use your light pumpkin pie, when it dries, you won't even be able to see it. So use your dark. And I'm just kind of adding some shadowing here to him. Anywhere that's like on the bottom, underneath, where there would be a shadow, like his leg is overlapping. Then I'm gonna put some shadows over here on the side of his face. And you know what? I'm gonna flip over to my brush tip. That way I can flick the color. And I just kind of wanted to add a little bit around his stripes to make them kind of pop off there, like that. Okay, so 
let's look at one that's done. This one is, can you see? I mean, it's not real it, as dark as it looks when you first lay it down, but then it, it lines up a little bit and it just gives you a little something extra. All right, so we're gonna cut this out. Um, you're gonna need to cut out some other things too. So let me grab those. You're gonna need a piece of pebbled path cardstock, and I'm gonna use the radiating stitches die to create a frame. Um, with granny apple, gr granny apple, nope, garden green, I have cut out this, and I thought this was like tree, I mean like ground foliage, like coming up from the ground, but then I looked in the catalog, which I don't know where I just put it, over here, and I noticed how they used it, and I just wanna point it out to you guys, because it's pretty cool. See how they used it coming from the tree, hello, so it's the canopy, the tree canopy. So it could be used either way, there's no right or wrong. All right, so we're gonna line this up in here. And while I'm doing this, I will t start to tell you guys a little bit about our dog drama. You know, I always have try to have good stories for you guys, and this just happened. Um, yesterday, I was in my bedroom, and I could hear a dog crying like a puppy, crying like a puppy. And I was like, Pepper was right next to me, so it wasn't her. I was like, that doesn't sound like any of my dogs. So I looked out the window and there is this giant dog on the outside of our fence. And Charlie, who's one of my old guys, was there and they were kind of going back and forth with the fence. There was no barking. They were kind of like playing and kind of, you know, I don't know, they were lifting their legs a lot, being boys. And I, it kind of scared me. I've made a little frame. That's what we've done with this. And you're gonna take this and keep it for another time, okay? Um, so it scared me because his dog is huge. And he looks, my daughter said he looks like a guard dog, okay? So he's, it kind of scared me. Charlie's a little frou-frou schnauzer. So I run out there, I get Charlie to come to me. Of course he will not. The dog stays for a little while. He and Charlie are back and forth, back and forth. And then when he sees me, he takes off. So I'm like, okay, somebody's dog got out. Our neighborhood, you guys, does not have a Facebook page, which bothers me, but whatever, I'm the newbie, I can't say anything. Um, so I, you know, was like, well, I'm sure they'll come get it. Well, he hung around for a while, and it was cold and rainy yesterday, and my daughter was very worried about him, and uh, he, he still kept coming to the fence, but also trying to dig in to get into the yard. So I was like, okay, this is somebody's dog. So, um, he's still here today. Denise, he's still here today. He's crying, he sounds like a puppy. Like a puppy crying, you know how puppies make that little crying sound. But he's huge, he's probably 60 or 70 pounds, he's big. You guys, I'm gonna glue some vellum on this, okay? So this morning, my daughter is very worried. She says, please text me any updates of the dog. I'm gonna be thinking about him all day. And I'm kind of was like, okay, yeah, whatever. Well, then we see him again. I put some food out for him, which I know, mistake, he'll never leave, but I felt bad for him. And um, I went inside, came back out five minutes later, the food is gone. I don't know if he got it or the squirrels, I don't know. Um, so then a little while later, I see him on the back side of our backyard fence and our backyard fence borders the state park. And I don't really know how he got back there and then found our yard because it's, to get in, it's far. Anyway, long story short, he is still hanging around. Um, he, we have found his owner. He has been gone for two weeks from somewhere not close to here, which is amazing. I'm looking for my adhesive, hold on. Um, he has been gone for two weeks, she said, and he's traveled miles and miles and she thinks he's trying to get back to their old house, which was not real close to here, but in the vicinity. So that's our drama. And all day today, all I can think about is that dog looking out for him, trying to get him. He's deaf, which is part of the problem. He, he, you know, he's not gonna hear me calling him. She said he's skittish. So now that's my weekend project. I want to catch this dog for her because she's very upset. He's been gone for two weeks. It's been yucky weather. It's always something here. And now my girls, I was texting them a picture of him and um, they decided to name him and said we needed to keep him. <laughs> I was like, we will not. I said, his name is no. 
Um, by the way, this beautiful paper that I'm using right here is from the Rock and Roll Designer Series paper. Um, I thought the stripes looked very tigerish. Basic black card base. But now that we know he has an owner, my neighbor was worried that somebody had dumped him. They, he said in this neighborhood, for whatever reason, they get a lot of dumped dogs. And to be honest with you guys, he is a scary looking dog. He's, he's a frightening looking dog. Um, but I could tell he wasn't aggressive or anything. He really likes my dogs. Um, and he wasn't barking at all, even though they were like super yappy. Um, now I know he's deaf, so that's why he's not barking. But we're going to work on it this weekend. The owner's coming out this evening to see if she can get him, coax him. But that's my drama. I thought it would make a good story. He's, he is a big, big dog. Denise, several neighbors have seen him. My neighbor added me into a group text. I have, I have entered to, into the neighborhood group text. And they have all seen him. But for whatever reason, he likes my dogs. And uh, maybe we can get him to come in. Anne Marie, I don't know if she's on here. She suggested I get some chicken nuggets and put them out because he'll smell them. And he'll be, you know, he'll come to them maybe. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, yeah, Heidi, we found the owner. There's a website. And I looked for a long time. It took me a while to find him um, because he'd been gone for so long. And far away, I had kind of limited the search in our area. He's from another side of town. Anyways, you guys, I put um, strips, adhesive strips on here to pop it up like this. We're going to take the um, liquid glue. We're going to put the grass or or canopy, whatever you want to call it, down here at the bottom. Oh, wait, hold on. No, we're not. Hold on. And now I have to get this adhesive off. Let's see if I can do it. See what happens when I start talking about things? We need to do the sentiment first. Um, this set doesn't have a sentiment, you guys. So I pulled out happy labels. And there's no one like you. I thought that kind of went, you know, because no tiger stripes are the same. Grilled hot dogs, Heidi? Oh my gosh, my dogs will lose their minds if I put grilled hot dogs outside. They will go crazy. I think Charlie, who is our middle, our middle dog, he's old, but he's from the streets. <laughs> he is from the streets. And he was the one that was real attracted to him. They were kind of, you know, they weren't talking to each other, obviously, but they were like communicating. They were lifting their leg and letting each other know what's up. So I think if I get him out here and get maybe some grilled hot dogs, some chicken nuggets. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I'm going to Catherine. I'm like determined. I can't stop thinking about him as I just can't imagine your dog being gone for that long. And she said he'd been spotted several times, but because he's so skittish. So I'm hoping that my dogs will attract him and keep him close. We actually have a gate that opens in the back to the state park. So I'm gonna leave it open and make a little trail of something maybe. <laughs> oh gosh, I need to get a life. I'm very interested in this little dog, well, this big dog. Okay, put your foliage, get your, I will give you guys an update next week whether we got him or not. Okay, is that the leaf blower? Yep. I, ugh. I hate the sound of a leaf blower, you guys. So loud and obnoxious. All right, now when I put him on here, I'm gonna kind of put him so that he's like walking through the grass. See how I did that? And then we've got two granny up, nope, I said it again, two garden green leaves. And we'll put one there and one here. Luckily our weather's gonna be really good over the next few days, so I think that will help us get him. Yesterday was nasty. The day before was nasty. Hopefully. Okay. So now there's your front. It's a black card base. You have to put white on the inside. And I really like these little vines. So I'm just going to put like a tiny little teeny tiny little dot. And put these across. How did I do it? I did it like this, like that. Ah, oh, thanks. Well, you know, as much as I complain about my dogs, I cannot even imagine them being gone that long. 
and thinking about, you know, and you know, he, out here we have coyotes, a lot of coyotes. And I am surprised. I mean, he looked very healthy. He didn't look like anything was wrong with him. So he's, they probably take one look at him and be like, all right, you can pass. <laughs> We're not messing with that dude. All right. And then there we go. Last but not least, we've got Pebbled Path. Um, jute twine. We're gonna tie a little bow. I thought it was sweet that my youngest was so worried about, you know, she's my teenager of teenagers. You know, she's very like, we'll just say she's very teenagery. But the fact that she was so concerned about him, I was like, well, that's kind of nice of you. <laughs> wow. You're being very sweet and kind. Um, I'm going to put this jute twine right there, and there we are, card number one. He's very cute, and you could do this same kind of deal with um, the alligator. Um, I also did it, and I will post um, a different version of this card on Monday. See the sloth? I stamped him actually on crumb cake and then colored him with Stampin' Blends. So, you know, don't always feel like you have to do white cardstock. All right, guys, hold on. I gotta turn the fan on. Now it's like summer in here. Ugh. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Number two, card number two, is a Valentine's card featuring our little gator. And every time I say gator, I think of all of you down in Florida who, you know, your school is the Gators. Which one is it? Florida State, University of Florida. One of them is the Gators. So you definitely need this stamp set. I am using the most adorned designer series paper. And you know what? Let me grab it because I'm gonna show you guys this beautiful paper. This is in the Celebration Catalog. One of the things you can get for free. And you know, pink, red, plaid, it's mine. I love it. So some red plaids, but then the other sides are gold foil. This one, look at the, the gold foil plaid. I, this paper is also included, a little bit of this paper, a, qu a quarter pack of this paper is included in my Be Mine class because it's really great paper. Um, wedding cards, these gold pieces would be great for wedding cards. Anyway, that's another thing you can choose from the Celebration catalog. Oh, my daughter is home. All right, okay. Let's get started. Let's do our little alligator first. And we're gonna stamp him this time in memento black on basic white. I'm using two other stamp sets here and I'll, I'll show you them as I go. Oh, you got snow, Lisa. That's fun though, right? Maybe? Y'all y'all freezing. Y'all are always freezing in Michigan, Pamela. You're your winters are about as miserable as our summers, I think. You guys are so cold. So, so cold. Okay, this is my favorite time of the year because it's not hot. It's nice. Like hot today, I think it's high of like 67 or something, which is really nice. All right, I'm going to start with light granny apple green. Thank you, Patricia. And I'm going to do like almost a full coating of light. I'm going to leave the top um, not colored in at first because Stamma blends, you're kind of layering colors. And we're going to add layers coming up from the bottom. So each time we add a layer, the bottom will be darker. All right, so I'm just going to add and slowly go up. Be careful with the teeth. You want to make sure the teeth are white. All right, and then I'm gonna take my dark and I'm gonna add just some dark on the underneath part of our, I almost called him a dragon, the underneath part of our gator. His bottom jaw would be pretty dark. Like that. Um, his back leg would be dark. I am gonna add a little bit of dark to some of those little spots that the artist has drawn for us. And then I'm gonna go back again, starting at the bottom and kind of just blending that up so that the very top just has one little layer of our dark. 
I mean, out of our light granny apple green this time is right, not garden green. All right. So the top you want to make sure is the lightest. Then I'm going to take my dark. Hi, Judy. We don't have snakes in snow. Luann, you win. You're right. I, you're right. You know what? There's nothing to trump that. <laughs> oh, gosh. No snakes in snow. Yeah, that is a very true statement. Ugh. We talk about snakes around here a lot. A lot. All right. So now we're going to need to cut some things out. And I've done a lot of it ahead of time. Um, give it a whirl, flirty flamingo heart. This is the postage, perennial postage dies. I have used this, these almost on every single project that I have done since I got them. I love them. They're great. Um, in the perennial la um, lavender club projects, we use them a bunch too, including this one. Um, so that one is not the smallest. It's the second smallest right here, okay? And then um, you're gonna cut out some jungle pieces too from Granny Apple, two white hearts, no, two white flowers. And then this piece is the um, nested essential dies. And it's the second largest cut in balmy blue. So all we're gonna cut out right now is our gator. And let me grab that die. Hi, Karen. So if you guys put your Christmas stuff away, you know, normally I'm like, December 26th, ugh, barf, I can't look at it, I hate it all. As soon as it's December 26th. Like, I cannot stand the sight of it. I can't stand Christmas music, nothing. But this year, I think because of the new house, we have more room, it doesn't feel quite so cluttered. We left it up until January 2nd. And isn't it funny how when you take it down, your house feels like so naked? <laughs> it's just so weird. I took all of it down before the girls got up one morning. They came downstairs and they were like, what happened to our house? It looks so weird. I'm like, you just forgot what it looks like without all the pumpkins and then the Christmas. Okay, so I'm going to use this. I'm going to show you one way use this. We're going to add some texture to this. This is the Of Art and Texture stamp set. And it is from online. It's not in a catalog. It's an online exclusive. And then we're going to get Balmy Blue ink, which is not here. Hold, please. Where is it? This thing, you guys, dries out faster than the chamois. Just FYI. I mean, I've got it wet before our um, before I went live and it's already starting to dry out. Okay, balmy blue. Now, usually I would stamp off on grid paper, but you can stamp off on your glass mat. And what I have found is that it holds more ink when you do this. So that's twice, all right? So watch when I do just once, then you're gonna get a darker color. Well, let's see, let's do it like this. All right, so see? So it kind of gives you more variation, I think, than when you stamp on your, stamp off on paper. So now I'll do it twice again. One and two. And then it's light. See right there? All right, and then you take your little chamois. Today is the 12th day of Christmas, Susan. 12th day of Christmas, who is that? What does that mean, 12th day of Christmas? 12th day after Christmas? I feel like Christmas was a really long time ago. Really long time ago. You know, I can't wait to take it down, but I, I hate, oh, I hate doing that. It's such a chore. Such a chore. All right, so let's put all of our goodies together. Uh-oh. Here's your host code for this week. Don't forget, if your order is under $150, please use the host code. If it is over $150, don't use the host code because then you're gonna get free stuff from Stampin' Up! And you're gonna get like, and I mean, I don't just mean celebration, I mean Stampin' Rewards. And then um, I will still send you the projects. 
But if your order is under 150, use the host code. That's how I buy prizes and stuff. Oh, I see. Okay, that explains. I get it. Christmas Day is the first day. Wait till January 6th, Epiphany King's Day. Yes, okay, that makes sense to me. I don't know why I read it differently in my head. All right, so put those both like that. They're angled. That's okay. We're going to put our gator on with dimensionals. Start of Mardi Gras. Okay, you guys, I have to go to a Mardi Gras party next week for my husband's work. And I don't know what to wear. Karen, what do I wear to a Mardi Gras party? I don't want to, I really don't want to get super dressed up. But also, <laughs> I don't want to be there and look stupid in jeans or something. I don't, what do you wear? I mean, uh, sequins. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we're going to stamp the sentiment, which is from the Heartfelt Hellos. This is a celebration stamp set also. This desk looks really, I don't know, like I need to clean it. Pre the tree and remove ornaments and add snowflakes. Who said that? That sounds really pretty. Nancy, that sounds very pretty. I couldn't leave my tree up all year. It would drive me bonkers. It makes our room feel dark. I did see something on Instagram. It was this big, beautiful house with these real tall ceilings. And they had this wall that just opened up and they just slid their Christmas tree in and then they closed the door. It was like part of the wall. And I was like, you know, <laughs> every house should have that. I said it to my mom because she's always said that's like her dream is to have a closet where she could just slide her Christmas tree in and not have to put it up, take it down, put it up, take it down. Okay, so I've got Lemon Lime Twist Ribbon. This ribbon is not the same color, but it coordinates, so it's good. It works. We're going to put it on a dimensional. And then I'm going to get some glue dots. I'm going to stack a couple of glue dots. I have a new glue dot roll that I didn't that is not the one that I turned it inside out. So now the glue dots are on the wrong side again. All right, I'm going to take this heart and put it right there in the middle of that. I have these two white flowers. Now, maybe these aren't the flowers that would grow in the bayou where our little alligator is, but I don't care. Still cute. Karen, depends on if it's formal or not. See, there's no description. It just says Mardi Gras party. My husband said, ugh. Is this like one of those costume parties? I said, I doubt it. Bling and sequins, Patricia. I'm going to have to go shopping. I don't want to go shopping, you guys. I don't want to. Jeans and a sweatshirt won't cut it. Come on. All right, these little daisies. Again, yes, I know daisies would not be in the bayou, but I don't care. I don't care. It's cute. And I wanted to add some more color to it. A little bit of an embellishment. Very cute. All right. So now we've got our little piece ready to go. Let's put our card together. Real red card base. And stamp and seal. I'm going to do this all the way across. We're going to do just one, uh, one inch strips on the outside. And you can, you know, play around with these papers. They all coordinate, they're all the same colors. And then we'll put this one right in the middle. Mm, it feels like it needs to go over just a bit. Like that. And then I have to trim because I never get it quite right when I cut it. It's a little bit too long. There we go. And dimensionals, dimensionals. Little black dress. You know, Nancy, I was just thinking that yesterday. Last night I was kind of scrolling through White House Black Market, which is too expensive. Then I was looking at the Loft and Ann Taylor, which is not really party clothes. I was like, well, I don't know what to get. And I thought, you know what? I bet I have a black dress that I could go pull out. I haven't worn a black dress in a while. Little black dress, you're right. It always works. Always works. Okay, there we go. A little Valentine card. So cute. Oh, I have this piece of white to go on the inside. I didn't do anything fancy to it this time. 
You could stamp the little water texture in here if you want or put some more of those vines or just leave it. Either way, it works. All right, so there is our second card. Now our third project is a 3D project. And I'm excited to show it to you guys. Let me get all this cleaned up. Do we need pumpkin pie? We do. Okay. You know, I am an idiot. Yesterday, I was looking. I did my videos in order like this. Individual recordings of these videos will be on YouTube. Um, I did the first one, then the second one. And then I got to this third one, and I had the light pumpkin pie stamp and blend. I'm like, where is my dart? Where is it? I've lost it. I've completely lost it. So I went and opened. I had a new package waiting for me, and I opened it. Well, now, duh. It was on the first tray that I had just used. You know, I scare myself sometimes with my dumbness, my ditziness. Ah. Hopefully that makes you guys feel better when you do dumb things. We all do dumb things, right? You guys are supposed to make me feel better. <laughs> okay, so the toucan. I decided to use the toucan. The sloth was my first one. I showed you that card. He's very cute. That card will be on my blog on Monday. But the toucan is super cute. And the first thing I thought of was Fruit Loops. Right, guys? Fruit Loops. And I didn't, I couldn't make a box for Fruit Loops cereal, but I could make a box for Fruit Loops cereal bars. Did you know they made these? Yeah. So cute. Um, I got these at my local grocery store, H-E-B, but I linked them today on Amazon. You can find them on Amazon too. All right, we're gonna do something. We're gonna do part of this tag first because it needs to dry and then we'll do the box and then we'll come back and finish the tag. Um, I have a, I've cut out a pecan pie tree thing. When you cut this, I wanna show you guys too. When you cut this, this edge right here does not have a cutting edge. So put it, you know, like let's say this is your pecan pie. If you want your trunk to be fat, you would put it over here. And it's only going to cut out this side. But if you want it to be skinny like mine, then you put it right on the edge of your cardstock. And it'll be skinny. Trial and error, that's how I figured that one out. I didn't realize it at first. All right, we're going to put this on just a piece of basic white right here. Actually, I was going to glue it and needed it to dry, but now we just use stamp and seal, so we don't need to wait for it to dry. Let's stamp our toucan with ink that was right here, memento black. I um, googled toucans to see what colors I should color him. There are a wide varieties variety of toucans um thank you pamela she says you have a lot in your mind too many tabs open they say a woman is like a computer with like eight tabs open and music is playing from somewhere you know like our brains are just going all the time we have too many tabs open okay a lot of ways you can color your toucan I am just gonna do orange on its beak and I'm gonna do the whole thing in light pumpkin pie. Okay, I'm gonna put two coats here on the first one and the second one. And then on that very first one, I'm also going to put dark pumpkin pie. So it's kind of like darkest to lightest, dark to light. So for some reason, that middle one doesn't look too dark. So let's put a little bit of light on it. All right, and then for his little backside of his body, I'm gonna use light basic black. Basic black Stampin' Blends are the darkest Stampin' Blends we have. They're very dark. And I find that they're so dark that you can lose the detail in your image. So sometimes I just use dark smoky slate um, because the black is just so dark. If you use the dark basic black, you probably would lose the details in your feathers, although I can barely see them here too. So basic black, I, I don't use, I use it sparingly. Sometimes you need it like for tires or things like that, but a lot of times I just stick with smoky slate. All right, let's set that aside. We'll do the die cutting, let's do our box. Do I have my Simply Scored? Nope, it's over here. Let me grab it. All right. 
Where are my notes? The measurements for this box are on today's PDF. Let's see if I got them right. Six and a fourth by, nope, six and a half by six and a half. I'm glad I'm not going off of memory. Thanks, Nydia. All right. Um, on one side, we're going to score at two and three and five and six. It sounds like I was doing some dance steps. Um, and then turn it, and the other side you're gonna do one and five and a half. This is uh, Poppy Parade. The ribbon that we're using is the new Sweet Sorbet ribbon. Poppy Parade and Sweet Sorbet are very close. Uh, Poppy Parade is a little more intense. No, that's not the right word. A little more saturated in color. So like Sweet Sorbet is kind of like a watered down Poppy Parade. They go together perfectly. You can use them interchangeably, I think. They're good color buddies. All right, so now over here, you've got this one skinny side. Cut those tabs off, and when you do, kind of cut in at an angle over here, okay? And then I'm just gonna take my paper snips and cut up these score lines. Do you guys have a chicken salad chick where you live? It's a restaurant called Chicken Salad Chick. Um, I first discovered Chicken Salad Chick. I think they're only in the South. I first discovered it, somebody I follow was posting about it and I love chicken salad. So I looked it up, there weren't here, any here and there was some, okay. Let me stop my story and tell you what I'm doing because that's important. <laughs> We're going to put adhesive right here. All right. I'm just using stamp and seal. It's fine. This, these bars don't weigh anything, so I'm not worried about weight. Fold it over and you make a tunnel. Then you, that is your back side where that edge is. You're going to fold in the sides, then the back, and then the front. That is going to give you rounded edges all in the front. So chicken salad chick was in Waco where my daughter goes to college. And um, so one time when I was there, I stopped on the way home, got chicken salad chick, and I was like, oh my gosh, they have like 15 different chicken salads. I love chicken salad. It's like one of my favorite things to eat. So then they moved here. We've got two here in town, and they're not close to us at all. So whenever I'm in the area, I go, my husband loves it just as much as I do. Like we're obsessed with the chicken salads that have the fruit in it. It's very good. Anyway, my, the reason I'm telling this stupid story is because my daughter has a basketball game tonight over by one of the chicken salad chicks. And when I realized yesterday that it was there, I got so excited because that means we can eat dinner there. <laughs> and I keep thinking about it all day. Love it, love it, love it. All right, if you love chicken salad and you were ever in the South, you need to look it up. They're expanding, so they might be in your area. Indiana, okay. Indiana's not the South, right? Where did chicken salad start? Chicken salad chicks start. It was it was like a mom or something who started it. This is um, Poppy Parade Designer Series paper from um, just the Brights paper pack. You can use any of the patterns. My mom does not care for chicken salad chick. She said she didn't see what the big deal was. Well, that's fine. She's entitled to her opinion, even if she's wrong. <laughs> All I know is I love chicken salad a lot. Chicken salad chick. And then they have those little loft house cookies at the end that they give you. Oh my gosh. So good. Like Alabama, right? Karen's like a very Southern thing. And when you go in, the restaurants feel like you're from like, you were like in the nineties, like Laura Ashley type wallpaper. I don't know. I don't know why I love it so much, but I do. I love it a lot. And I always get some to take home for the next day. All right, there's your box. I just tied that new little sweet sorbet ribbon. See how well those colors go together? You can't even tell that they're not the same. Okay, let's go back to this and these dies. These are called, I think I called them the wrong thing in my other video, sorry. They're called the Everyday Details dies. They're really interesting. Um, so they're gonna cut it out with this little frame around. I mean, this little, like dots, right? Little holes in the edge. Some of them, like this one that we're gonna use, actually has dots on both sides so that when you cut it out, the negative image, it leaves the dots around the negative part too if you wanted to use that as a frame. Um, Auburn, Alabama, Carrie, is where they started. 
All right, grapes and nuts in my chicken salad. Kimberly, have you had chicken salad chick? They have grapes in two different of their salads and it's very good. My favorite, if anybody cares, is the cranberry and almond, or maybe it's pecans. I don't know, it's my favorite, favorite. Okay, <laughs> I am like a squirrel, sorry. If you need better instructions than what I give you during Facebook Live, you know I record these individually, YouTube, they're edited and they don't talk about chicken salad, they don't talk about snakes or stray dogs. So you can always go there. All right, so now I, I have kind of put myself here in a little pickle. I wanted to use this, but I didn't put it low enough because I need to cut it like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this one. Hopefully we don't get our little, our guy. I think we'll be all right. We want the little branch sticking out to be about in the middle because we're gonna put our sentiment below. I'm gonna need to cut that off. Let's just trim that. We're gonna need our sentiment to be below and our bird to be above. So we kind of need to center it. Google, 280 locations. So it's kind of like a fast food restaurant, but it's chicken salad. Favorites, Olivia's Old South and Classic Carol. Okay, Karen, I haven't tried Olivia's. Classic Carol, yes. We like the Dixie Chick one too, the one with onions. But you gotta be a fan, fan of onions. Um, all right, so see how it gave us all of our little, our little dots. Now, I should have found yesterday, I was looking for my little foam piece that goes under this. I don't know where it went. I should have found it so I could show you how to use your dye brush correctly. But as I usually do, I don't have it. So we'll just use our little piercer to get them out. Okay, so there's that. Now, when you take this off, see how it left the circles there too? So you could use that as something else. You could cut it out with a circle, you could leave it, make a shaker, I don't know, all kinds of options with that. All right, so there's your circle. Let's cut out our, what time is it? Oh gosh, I'm going way late today. Um, toucan dye, we're almost done, I promise. I've gotta go look for my little buddy. His name is Remy, the little deaf stray. I told her that she gets off at work this afternoon. I said, I will be ready for you to find poor Remy. I haven't seen him in several hours. I hope he didn't leave our neighborhood. Our neighborhood could connect to two other neighborhoods, so he could be there too. All right, we cut that out. Let's put this over here. Let's bring back our glass mat. Has anybody dropped their glass mat yet? I'm very worried about me doing that. It shipped beautifully. I was worried about the shipping, but it had no problem shipping. I'm gonna take Balmy Blue again, and so you can kind of tap it on the glass first, right? And then go around the edge. And you can pick that color back up again and add some more. And then you get your little chamois and you just clean it off. Okay, done with that. Let's put our things together. We're gonna to stamp the sentiment on a, Remy's a good name. My husband was like, that's a cool name. That's a good, it must be a pretty common dog name, huh? All right, enjoy your day. Well, I'm a little bit off centered. Normally you should stamp first, then die cut, but you guys know I try to do things ahead of time. So the video doesn't last two hours. So it's not perfectly straight. It does fit. Just barely. Okay, wait, before we do that, let's put on these. These are the other leaves. These look kind of like tropical leaves. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue around the bottom. You know what, we're gonna take this off because this is not in the right place. And we're gonna layer some leaves. We'll put one up and one kind of lower and then we'll have one coming this way now we could put our sentiment there we don't want to cover up the branch let's do like that and then our little toucan it's very cute um, Nancy, I've mostly always had little dogs, and I will tell you, this dog, 
he would scare you if you came face to face with him. He is frightening, but I could tell he was very docile. And the fact that he's deaf probably means he's nervous. All right, last but not least, we're just gonna put this on here with dimensionals. And there we go. Enjoy your day. Just a fun little treat. Now, I was also thinking if you have kids or somebody you know is having a jungle party, these would make great little party favors for a jungle party, right? Very cute. All right, let me show you just a couple more things and then we are done. Um, Monday's bonus project. Here's another version of this tiger's, tiger card. And here's another version of the Valentine card. I did these for a uh, team event. Here is a, another toucan card using the Sunny Days designer series paper. And then this will be on Monday, the sloth. He's very cute. Very, very cute. All right, so that's it for today. If you would like to earn these projects for free, I will send them to you as make and take kits. You will need the stamps and the dies, the Jungle Pal stamps and dies. The other things I'll cut for you. Um, where's the third one? Where did I put it? Did I leave it on the tray? Am I just looking at it? Yes, I am, right here. <laughs> All right, so these will be the three that'll be in this week's kit, free with an order over $35. But I mean, during celebration, I would think you'd probably bump your order to 50 so you get a free celebration item. Um, I guess that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I hope you have a good weekend. Yes, thank you. I hope we can catch them. I'll let you guys know. <laughs> have a great weekend, guys. It was great seeing you again. Bye.